Hey, it's Paul here on the Friendly Viewer. On this channel, we do ton of tech and gadget reviews, as well as keep you up to date with the latest on the Ronin S, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the firmware update that was released at the end of August 2018. It's version 1.4.0.30, so let's check it out. Before we begin, check out the description below for links to everything I talk about, any updates that are made after posting the video, as well as information on how to update your firmware using the DJI Pro Assistant for Ronin. Now there's a whole slew of things that's been updated with the Ronin S, and the first subset has to do with the motors. It states in the release notes that if you block the motors, it's now going to make a tone, an alarm tone, to tell you that's going on. That is useful, but I'd really prefer that overall, whenever you turn it on, or any of these things, that it doesn't make any sound whatsoever unless that's enabled through the app somehow. So please add that in there. If you're doing a show, a wedding or anything like that, you just don't want it making any sounds, especially when you turn it on and off. I cannot personally get this to make any sounds. I don't want to break it, but I blocked the motors and I've not noticed anything after the update. Also with this update, it's going to shut the motors off after being blocked for 30 seconds. That's useful. It's going to protect the life of it. Similarly, it's going to shut the motors off if it loses its orientation. So these are all good things. They're going to help protect your Ronin and make it live longer. The next subset has to do with that little red button that you push halfway to do autofocus, which is only compatible with a certain number of cameras. They've improved it where you can do continuous autofocus by holding that in. And they've also improved the algorithm so it prevents focus coupling whenever you're performing that action as well. The next thing they did is update the profiles for the smooth track and control settings for all three of the user options. I really like them a lot. It's working pretty well. If you have your favorites though and you've done all your tuning, make sure to save those always before doing any of these firmware updates so you can get everything back where it was because you never know if it's going to lose its memory and set everything to a new thing. If you want to learn more about that, again, check out the description below. You can find the whole table to what it's set to, but they're, they're pretty decent, the new ones. If you enable push and push pan and you rotate it back and forth, what you'll find is occasionally the roll changing. They've done some improvements to help prevent that roll from changing as you go and do that, and I did notice some improvement there. The second thing is if it's rotating clockwise when going from normal mode to underslung mode, there's some vibration that would occur. I did notice that was improved with this update as well, and I did test that one out. I heard a ton of feedback from different people having questions on how to get excellent on the balance test on the pan setting. Well, they've done an update to that, so if you have that issue, please let me know in the comments below if this fixed it for you. Please make sure that you're also tilting it or leaning it over while you're performing this so it does truly test all the different axes. I was able to get excellent all of them, but I was also able to get excellent with the balance and everything prior, so let me know in the comments below. The last one is some weird quirk that I didn't know about, that if you hit the M button too fast, six times in a row, occasionally it can cause it to do crazy things and they seemingly fixed that. I tried to repeat it before I did the update. Couldn't get it to go crazy, so I don't know if that was an issue you had. Hopefully that's fixed now. That wraps it up for the firmware update and bug fixes for version 1.4.0.30 with the Ronin S. One more thing before we take off. I'm using the Canon ADD, and some people have suggested it instead of using the RSS to IR port, use the RSS to USB micro port, use an adapter, plug that in to the mini USB port, and you can control the camera. It does not work, I tried it out, so I'll save you some time, unless I'm just missing something. I am looking forward to see if they increase the compatibility list and how many different features they can add with the future versions. I'm also interested to see if they improve the motion lapse because I'm still having issues with stability with that, especially with long exposures. Let me know in the comments below as well if you're having issues. So this has been Paul with version 1.4.0.30 with the Ronin S. Thank you for watching.